What's up everybody? On today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to panic buy for a hurricane. Grab a shopping cart, but very fast. Look at other people and like try to shame them because they're panic buying. Go back out to the car because you forgot your wallet. You wanna buy things that last forever. Um, I think I still have stuff left over from Hurricane Ian that I just recently threw away. Notice that there's a calm atmosphere inside the store. Well, you need to be in a panic. You can't be calm. And one of the things you're gonna need to learn for panic buying is you wanna be panicked. You can't be calm for panic buying. All these people are calm and we're just, we're just gonna have to panic. Okay, I can feel my heart rate accelerating. My heart rate's accelerating and I'm panicking. Now, here's a secret for hurricane buying. Always buy a crap load of water. So the first thing you want to do is you don't just grab the water you look around and make sure nobody's watching you now the next thing you want to buy is junk food everybody knows that during a hurricane you need to buy junk food and this stuff most of it will raise your blood pressure so high that if the hurricane doesn't kill you the high blood pressure will of course I'm actually gonna have them put all these in the trunk of my car. Now they have a pallet machine, so you don't have to do this by hand. These are gonna be your prime hurricane survival things. Doritos and Funyuns. This will save your life and destroy your blood pressure right after a hurricane. At least two bags of Cheetos. They still got Cuban coffee. You're practically gonna need all of it like every last one of them cuban coffee just fill your cart up with cuban coffee you're gonna need all this cafe bustelo cafe llave and crap they even got puerto rican coffee might as well grab all these as well all the canned pineapple that you can find by the box load should work pineapple chunks arizona sweet tea all the arizona sweet tea you can get your hands on so I'm just going. Tell you what, man. They're trying to figure out how they're going to put all that Bud Light in my car. Now, don't do, be a fool. You're not going to do all your panic buying at Walmart. You're going to do a little panic buying at Walmart and then a little panic buying at the Dollar General and a little bit of Publix. That way, people around you don't know how greedy and selfish you are. So, we're not going to like make it obvious that we're panic buying here at Walmart. We're gonna do a little bit of panic buying here, a little bit of Publix, a little bit of the Dollar General, and then finally we'll hit up gas stations. And then when we get really desperate, we'll go to corner stores in the hood. But don't, don't save that until like last minute. You're gonna need at least five cases of Goya black beans. Five cases, and I'm not exaggerating, you need five cases of this stuff. You're gonna need Goya white vinegar in case the unfortunate happens where you have to amputate somebody's leg in your garage. Now, after many years of panic buying through different storms, I've learned not to buy anything that you're not actually going to need after the hurricane. So don't buy anything that you actually wouldn't use. Basically, you're buying things you would already use, but in larger volumes and in panic. Sour sop and guava juice are essential for panic buying. You have to have this stuff in large volumes while panic buying. During a hurricane, you're gonna need hundreds of tortillas. So grab as many as you need. Tortillas are indispensable during, after, and just because of a hurricane. Does this make sense? You're gonna need hundreds of these. Hundreds, if not thousands. You're gonna need a lot of rice, but not just any rice, Haitian rice. And they don't have any Haitian rice here. That's why we said we're gonna go to the hood corner store soon. You won't need to buy canned fish or canned shrimp because you're gonna have fish and shrimp inside your house already fresh as your entire neighborhood goes underwater. You're gonna wanna grab everything in this aisle of canned stuff, everything. Don't have mercy on other people. They're dumb, they should have known to panic buy early. <laughs> you see this? See, Walmart knows what real Floridians do during a hurricane. That's why they already put this stuff on the end of the aisles because they know, well, you bought huge numbers of Cuban coffee, you're gonna need some type of sweetener. Just which one is the question. 
these would go for about 150 on the black market after the hurricane so the more you buy the more profit you're gonna make so the next thing you want to do is you want to spy on other people and see what they're panic buying so you can understand how other people are preparing for this panic buying mode so we're gonna walk around and just kind of snoop into people's carts and see exactly what they're buying cereals all the cereals you can find all right guys usually i like to buy the one that has the tiger on it oh here's a bigger box but they don't have the tiger one you know why they don't have it because people know that the one with the tiger on it it's like you need tiger force strength to get through a hurricane but this will do see they're already out of the tiger one they're already out of essential crap all right guys so i made some threats to the employees and they brought out more because this is really what you need for a hurricane Forget about the cornflakes. You need the tiger, man. In the days after a hurricane, you will be eating at least five pounds of chocolate a day. Make sure it's coconut white chocolate. You will be eating more chocolate than you've ever ate your whole life. Last time it melted because we couldn't keep it cool, but whatever, you get the idea. When they captured El Chapo Guzman, he had one thing inside his apartment. Lots of mayo. If he had mayo, you'll need mayo. Don't even ask. You're going to need it. Now, you will need a one month supply of bubblegum for your breath because you will be eating raw mullet for weeks and it'll make your breath stink. But these ice cubes will help. Now, if somebody's in your way blocking an aisle, you'll have to shove them out of the way. In my case, there's an elderly woman here hoarding very essential things for the hurricane just shove her out of the way. Just, just, get that damn medio said, you know? If she's shopping with her grandchildren, just skip that step because I don't want to get beat up. Everybody knows that hurricane water is pure salt water, and the lay ship will help wash that down. When you drink a lot of salt water, this will help wash it down. One of the most traumatizing experiences during a hurricane is that Starbucks will be closed. Luckily, there's a solution. You gotta have a Starbucks. You gotta have it. You gotta have premium crackers. Galleta Soda, aka crackers. You gotta have saltine crackers. <laughs> All of them. Every last single one. Trust me. You wanna use a piece of cardboard to hide the water. Hide it. Don't let anybody else get their hands on it. Ah, it's too heavy. Ah, it's too heavy. Ah. Rick Ross, the biggest boss you ever seen. You're gonna need toilet paper, but not just regular toilet paper. You're gonna need extra size toilet paper. You have to have. Oh man, that goes my bag of chips. I exploded my chip bag. Oh, now there's chips everywhere, okay. Oh man. I have exploded a bag of chips inside the store. Mmm. Mmm. Not really supposed to eat inside the store, but it, it exploded, you know? Mm. 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 You're gonna need at least two of these right here. Okay, now there's potato chips all over my shopping cart. So that's 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 part of, of what we're doing here we're we're panicking so we're breaking stuff you have to break stuff if you're not breaking stuff you're just not panicking and you're going to grab at least two of your whatever your, your favorite whatever your favorite laundry detergent is grab at least two of them okay well 
we're also doing COVID shopping here. So everything you buy for COVID plus everything we buy for a hurricane, it's like a double, you know what I'm saying? You're buying COVID stuff and you're buying hurricane stuff. You're panicking two times. You know, I'm not wearing a mask. I got a ski mask in the car I've been giving homeless people, but that works pretty well. You know what? We're going to play it safe. And we're going to grab even more laundry detergent because after a hurricane on the black market, you can get hundreds of dollars, something like this. Hundreds of dollars on the black market after a hurricane. My hustle game is strong. It really is. You're gonna find the biggest roll of toilet paper they got, okay? The cart's full. We might need another one. That cart's full already. So we're gonna go grab a second cart. Coming through, can't, I can't see over my cart. Sorry, ma'am, I can't really see over my cart. I'm, I got so much panic supplies, I can't even see around the cart. Okay, so now we're bumping into people and things because there's so much stuff piled on my shopping cart that I can't see clear across my shopping cart. So that's a good start, very good start. You're gonna need hundreds of batteries. Now the good thing is I still got hundreds left over from the last hurricane, so I want you're gonna need hundreds of gallons of gasoline. Every single day after a hurricane, you will spend 300 gallons of gasoline. Now, I have a Toyota Camry, so if I had a F-350 or a Silverado, I would need four or 500 gallons a day. But because I have a Toyota Camry, I'm not even worried about it, but usually, you'll need a few hundred like this is not even enough for one person like this should just be flying off the shelf right now but it's not you'll also need a generator and not just any generator you're going to want the loudest one they got your neighbors already don't like you and if you got one of these things running the whole night for hours on end then they really won't like you and you're probably wondering why the crap people buy garbage cans during hurricanes that is because you can actually put water inside of these, put it in your garage, and then take a shower in your garage. Because you're not going to go without a shower in Florida. They do it in Alabama, but you shouldn't do it in Florida. They have a whole bed inside of this Walmart here. It just feels great to sleep. Oh, yeah, this is great. You know, they put beds inside the Walmart because the employees are going to be working so many hours that they're going to need to sleep inside the Walmart. So Walmart is kind enough to set up beds throughout their entire dang store. Just beds and beds all throughout the store. And if you're a customer and you're homeless, you can also sleep on their beds. It's really a great accommodation that Walmart does this. Let me just add, with as many homeless people as we got here in Bradenton, that's a bad idea. That right there is like the worst thing you could do in Bradenton. But all the homeless people we got, they got a dang bed inside the Walmart. Are you kidding me? How how did they kick me out of here yet? <laughs> Like, Walmart knows what's about to happen here. So they have, like, every hurricane supply is already on the outside aisles. You don't even have to get in the middle, like, out of the middle aisle, really. Everything you need is, like, already in the middle. You're going to need a garage sale sign because after a hurricane, you're moving to another state if you're from Colorado. You're, you're going to be like, this is not for me. So a lot of people are already planning to leave the state of Florida. So they have these on the main aisle, too. Now, normally I would be buying one of these for my garage except for the fact that I already have one left over from the last hurricane. Yeah, that's all you plan ahead. And of course, they bring out entire pallets. Like if you just look at the center aisle of Walmart right now, everything in the center aisle is like simply hurricane related. Like pallet of batteries, pallet of propane tanks, okay? Like pallet of coolers, which by the way, I don't have one yet, so I'm gonna grab one. Pallet of coolers, tents that they're selling here <laughs> they were selling here before the hurricane brand but like basically the entire center aisle of this walmart all the way around the store is nothing but hurricane crap so if you've never been through a hurricane and you just need some inspiration on what to do during the hurricane well look no further than the center aisle of walmart everything is already there now these tents are a hot commodity in Bradenton even before the hurricane but uh, now that there is a hurricane, believe me, they're selling a lot of tents here. And, uh, well, there's no shortage of tents in Bradenton, if you know what I mean. If you've been on Cortez, you know what I'm talking about. Goal! 
And here's yet another pallet of batteries. There's like seven pots of batteries in this store. Unbelievable. This whole aisle is empty. I don't know what was here, but it's gone. I really don't even know what's in these boxes, but I'm going to grab a few. You know, these are lightweight. You're going to need a folding chair, but these are black and I'm looking for a white one. This is how you know Walmart is racist. They only have black folding chairs, but no white folding chairs. I really wanted to buy one of those like shopping carts for your home. Cause like I live on a third floor and I have to carry all this up to my apartment. You know, I wanted to buy one of those carts where you could just put your stuff in, but it seems like they just have a bunch of Walmart employees here and they haven't figured out where it's at for me. Just having a backlog here at the register. I call it the Great Pyramid of Bradenton. I just need a... You gotta give it to Walmart. $250 for a shopping cart full of crap. They have a Bradenton mural in here. Bradenton mural. All right guys, so I couldn't make everything fit inside the car because I gotta be able to drive it. But uh, well, I put some stuff on the roof and hopefully it makes it home. All right guys, so now we wanna go back into the Walmart and do it all over again and buy the same exact products we just buy, but pretend like we weren't just here a minute ago. So we walk in there, act normal. Don't let anybody, like, don't be suspicious. They're doing it. Look how much crap they got. Awesome. Great start to the hurricane season. But uh, what you want to do is you want to go in there and you want to want to buy stuff in bulk. And we're, we just we just did it. We're gonna go in there, and do it all over again. Okay, we're gonna grab another shopping cart. We're just gonna repeat this process over and over again. Every time we walk in the store, we act like we weren't here a minute ago. <laughs> 